religion is human beings trying to figure out the world in a communal way. That religion is a cultural aspect of human beings. And therefore, a one way of seeing that is it is secular. So I am not scared by religion. And in fact, some of the criticism towards the atheist community, from my perspective, is that humans need ritual. We need community. We need elements that are traditionally considered religious, whether we use that term or not. Those are human needs, and we should seek to fulfill them. The main thing that I'm trying to get across is, is again, not trying to, to change people's minds or, or cause people to doubt their own faith, is to say that being able to embrace your own humanity, uh, I think this fits in more with your audience, accept yourself, accept the areas that you wish could change, accept the, the person who you are, and accept your role as a meaning maker, uh, and I think that you're going to be more, more fulfilled in your life. Two things where the best definition I've heard about tradition is peer pressure from dead people. <laughs> <laughs> well said, well said. I think that's quite fitting given our conversation, the container we're in. The second thing is a lot of clients and patients ask me, Benoit, how do you view psychotherapy? What is it? On my first initial assessments, which is a first intake, I always spend 10 to 15 minutes, try to recontextualize what psychotherapy means to me and the avenue they could view it through, since it means differently to everyone. But what I want to say is, general blanket statement to me, as a psychotherapist, I think it's just a place of exploring and reviewing the archives of your behaviors and patterns. Are you showing up to your life in a way that you're proud of? Are you showing up to your work and your loved ones in a way that you're happy and you're proud of? If you're not, let's take a pause and reflect. What is going on? Can we identify some of the reasons or contributing factors, whether that's stress, whether that's the deconversion process or the increasing or blossoming doubts, et cetera. And I really see that as another through line between both of our processes and both of what we talk about on the show, where let's just take a pause button and just try to unlearn and decondition some of the things that's not no longer serving you, Christians aside. If a certain belief like purity culture, it was really hard for me to not go into that topic in today's conversation <laughs> because it's so deep and I'm still grappling with it. Because I shared, I, I withdrew from sex with my fiance for about two and a half years and we recently recommitted since we're getting married soon and we're engaged. But I still wrestle with this guilt and the certain conditioning aspects of Christian faith that I'm not too happy about and I'm trying to think more and ponder more about. But it's a process. And I know that no empire is built overnight and no empire will be destroyed overnight. And it takes time. And I'm just being intentional and mindful throughout this process that unfolds. But yeah, I would love to do like a round two talk about purity, truth seeking and other things. I think even a lot of Christians and pastors are really scared to talk about because it is such a complex topic for the, for the lack of better words. But yeah, all that, all that said, I, I really appreciate your thoughtfulness the gracious, authentic version that you're proud to present on and off the show. And I really do respect uh, independent thinkers, which is the premise of my show, like you who are doing great work um, in the lanes and the context that you see fit. But I really enjoyed these conversations. And this is something I'm going to be pondering more about because I do see a lot of areas in my life that I wanted to discover more about to see how else I can stress test and to p poke some holes whatever that means. I appreciate it. Thank you, Benoit. Like, I, I do think that this has been a valuable two conversations that, uh, again, hopefully we can act out uh, what we've been talking about, you know, actually talking with one another and, and seeing each other as full human beings and, and with all the respect that that's due. Thank you for discovering more with us this week. If you enjoyed watching this video, check out the full length episode at one of the windows that pops up. And as always, see you again in next week's train of Discover More. Thank you for tuning in.